Find out what it feels like to touch a cloud. Step inside the famous human bubble. Meet Phil the stunt frog. Find out exactly why your poo is brown. I find that the shows that are put on by the team from the Science Museum really do get them involved, they get them interested, there's lots for them to look at and they're just generally really exciting and the kids come out with a real buzz which is lovely to see. It was way better than our normal science lessons. Much more interesting than textbooks. <laughs> and carbohydrates are a fast releasing source of energy. <laughs> there's just so many things to discover. The Science Museum Secret Bubble Mix. Kieran inside a bubble! Look at that! The presenters they have know their stuff and they've got tried and tested methods of actually putting the stuff across. What the Science Museum Outreach Team do is they deliver interactive science shows across the country. The shows are all curriculum linked, but it's not just about schools, it's about community events as well. What we're able to do to come into a school and make science fun and entertaining. Give it up, give it up, give it up. They love bubbles. No matter what age you are, you always, always love bubbles. You never, ever grow tired of bubbles. So they're always fun, they're always excited. Um, sometimes a little too excited. <laughs> as long as they enjoy it and have fun and learn something along the line, that's what we're here for. Start off at the... No. Down the... Sorry. Into the... Sorry. Along the... Sorry. Into the... Sorry. Finishing out the... Yes. Give them all a big clap as they sit back down. Thank you very much. Well, in the show, we look firstly at the food we eat and what we get out of it. We look at all the nutrients, all the things we need to have a balanced diet and how our body uses them, looking at each main organ in turn. That's my favourite bit. Right up until the very last one. This in here is liquid nitrogen, and it's at minus 196 degrees Celsius. It's probably the coldest thing um, any of them will ever see in their lives. It's so cold that it will burn you, it will give you frostbite on instant contact. The hardest part for me is to engage them in one of the trickiest subjects. It makes it so much clearer, especially with experiments like this, where they can actually see it for themselves. Yeah, just, 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 yeah, just, just. We show an experiment and we give the science very, very quickly so that a teacher can perhaps expand on it in a lesson in the future. A liquid takes up about a thousand times less space than a gas does. We're hoping to make kids really excited about what we're talking about, really excited about science and perhaps even make teachers' lives easier when they go into a class. They show the students that there is a lot going on in terms of science that they can get involved with that's not just school-based. It's a good way of inspiring them to get out and do more with science as well as just coming to school to learn it as a, as a lesson. When you saw the camera going through the body, it, like, you could actually see the inside of it and what's actually happening instead of just like reading a book. When you do an experiment, the effect is really dramatic and you get to see what you're doing. And I think if one thing goes home today is that they tell their parents about it and that encourages them to explore science more. I'm going to need your help. <laughs>